Yo guys, what's up, it's Crips, and welcome to another Destiny 2 fashion video. So today I'm showing you how you can use these Star Eater scales in fashion. Now if you don't know, these are the new exotic boots introduced this season into Legend of Master Lost Sectors. Now these Lost Sectors can be played on Europa, the Moon, EDZ, and the Cosmodrome. The EDC is a new addition to this, and basically what you want to do is wait until Legend or Master award leg armor exotics, and then just grind out until these boots drop. Now before we move into the shaders, I want to show you all the exotic itself. So here it is with no shader on it. I want to show you all why it's so difficult to pair with many sets and why loads of people have been struggling with it. So here is the design here, it's a scaly design going up. That's already one slight problem, it's trying to match textures because there isn't much that adds scales in this game on armor. Then we have the shiny bits here which are quite different to the rest of the leg. And we have these glow pieces here which change depending on the shader you're using. Now the biggest problem with these boots that I see that not a lot of people point out is the fact that it does shader differently on the boots compared to actual plated armor. So as you can see here we have Armatura. This is how it usually looks like on armor. But as you can see it's a lighter tone because of the texture. Which also throws it off from the rest of the armor. So a lot of times you might be seeing yourself changing the boots shader just to match with the rest of the armor. Because obviously it's a lighter tone. We've got a bit of a fade here as well above the kneecaps of the boots so yeah i did want to point out before we move into the shaders in case any of you didn't know that so before i show you some alternate armor i do want to show you this set i made here this is an aquatic hunter set i made using the new boots so obviously on the helmet i used the celestial mask ornament from last season's eververse the Lucent Night Sleeves ornament from the Dawn and Eververse, the Scorched Hunter Vest from the Red War campaign, and the Substitutional Alloy Cloak, which is from the Season of Undying. Then I used the new Ritualism shader on all the pieces except the cloak, and then the cloak I used Horizons Beyond. So yeah, it's the entire set here. Um, I really love the look I've made here, but it all just flows so well together. The main issue you will find though with trying to make this work in a set is trying to flow the boots and the chest plate together. I think I did quite a good job here, but I will show you some alternatives now. Now a set I have not seen anyone recommend yet is Dragonfly. I do not know why no one's recommended this yet. This is an absolutely amazing set to pair. The armor is pretty much like the same sort of theme as it. Obviously with the shaders and look as good. But if you switch up some shaders and some pieces. Uh, you can really make Dragonfly work. Even the arms. I'm not a huge fan of the arms. But here they do work quite well. So here we have Iron Mossbone. With some of the pieces here. Um, I think it flows so well. It really depends on the shader though. And then if you wanted to. You could switch up the cloak. Now something else about the Celestial Hood as well. If you go with something which has no hood. Like Lux or the new Criteria Cloak. Um, as you can see on the helmet here. It sort of has like a thin head shape to it. A bit like a fish. Or anything to like help the look of the boots. I think this helmet without no hood. Is a great like little example of it. Now another cloak I absolutely love with this. Is Iron Fellowship. Um, the reason being is because of how it's designed with like the curves and the bits point out. It's very much like the boots here. As you can see here, the design is very similar. Now obviously with this chest plate, they don't really connect too well with the chest plate here. So you could use something like Wing Contender. It looks like it flows so well together. Um, it almost looks like it's meant to be a part of these boots. Which is absolutely perfect. It's the look you want to get. And obviously you could switch out the Celestial for Dragonfly again. Dragonfly pieces are just look incredible. I will show you when contend on the arms here. So here it is as well. As you can see, like a bit of a scaly pattern. Then with this cloak as well. If you do want to use this cloak, the only issue is you're going to have to deal with this unshadable uh, colour. It's not really that it's unshadable, it's just that um, it will stick out with some shaders. But as you can see here, a Crucible Prestige is how the set looks like. Now, other pieces which I have found work, uh, you could also use the Great Hunt pieces. Although they aren't the best, as I'll show you with the chest plate now. So here is the chest plate with it. It doesn't look too bad, but if you don't have any of the Eververse stuff, then obviously you can get this from the Last Wish Raid. I think I'll put the shader back to Mossbone so you can better see it. It's like one of my favorite shaders on this set. Now, Steeplechase can sometimes work with this as well. If you work with something quite light and will mix out the bone color, like here we have Iron Mossbone, which easily blends it out. You can try and go with something a bit more like, you know, spiky and rusted. So here it is on a darker shader. Um, this is Skeletal and the bone colours mix so well together. And here is also the Wing Contender cloak. Uh, this also looks really nice. Like I said, the Wing Contender set is just another amazing set to use. Uh, we also have the shadow pieces uh, from the Crown of Sorrows. Although the issue I find with these is that they have an untradeable purple gem. Uh, the arms I wouldn't use so much. If anything, I'd probably use the chest plate 
Although again, you will have an unshadable chest with like the gems. And then as for any obtainable pieces right now, you could try the new pieces, the uh, fear pieces. I will be covering a video on the light kin pieces separately for the hunter. So you could go with something like this. Um, I'm just going to quickly throw something together for you all to look at now. So we have this. Yeah, this is like quite a good look for it. I'll change up the shaders obviously. So here we have like a red look. Um, use a purple and gold. Oh, there's a bit of a shine on this cloak as well. Um, use a, like a darker purple on the cloak. Oh, the new red looks really good on this. So yeah, I hope all the pieces I suggested help you out with like trying to mix it in a set. If you have found any pieces which I haven't yet mentioned, feel free to comment them down below. So anyways, we're going to just get into a bunch of shaders that I really like with this. So I'm going to show you some of the new ones first. So use the conflagrate shader which is from the crucible this season for reaching rank 10 in valor now as you can see here this is a perfect example of the change of the top of the kneecaps to the top of the fly here as you can see very closely the scales fade out as it comes here and it goes a lighter color now with amateur this was an issue but on this isn't as much because it's all like one color and it can easily blend out to the rest of the gear now techno fusions are the one from the past i don't mind this an all silver although to be honest i don't really make all silver sets then here is ritualism this is the one i've used for this set and the one i built this set around but yeah as you can see with all these shaders uh, these blue bits here don't actually change they're like pearls and they're actually quite a nice little detail added to them although they are non-shaderable unfortunately as you can see but yeah this gives it a very aquatic look um, i just really like this because it does look like a deep sea like hunter then we're moving on to abyssinian gold um, it's a nice dark look then if you're looking for a black although it does add a red glow on the back and this can sometimes be saw on the brightest store here is seven sisters now i was hoping all this bit would go blue like a galaxy look and just like have a cool animated look but it's just an all silver or blue glow this can also sometimes be sold in the Bright Dust store. Then use Cryptic Insignia from opening both secret chests in the Deep Stone Crypt Raid. After some nice light blue colour. Here is Rivalry Resolute for any of you who want an almost all white and played through Guardian games. This is great for that. Although it does add little silver bits on the sides here. Adorned Celebration is one of my absolute favourites. Um, it's a very nice pop of purple. Quite sparkly in colour. Um, it's from the Dawning and it's a really nice one if you are looking for that. Here's another one from Dawning and his Dawning Tranquility. The accent colours add a nice contrast. This one's a lot easier to pair with most armour. Then here we have Iron Mossbone from the Iron Banner during Season of Undying. Nice white and gold or a white glow. Now we're going to be moving into the more commonly used shaders. So here's Amethyst Veil. This can sometimes be sold in the brightest store and obviously a nice purple glow on the back. Here is Refurbish from Forges. Um, the glow goes red and white as you can see, but it's a nice grey look as well. Now we also have these forge shaders here. So we have Rasmussen Clan, House of Mayrin, Satu Tribe, and New Age Black Armory. Now all these shaders are currently in the game, as the old forge armor is now dropping in world drops. So if you check the armor and it has one of these shaders, upon dismantling you will now receive these shaders. Now Begis the Night still isn't obtainable, but here it is in case any of you do have it. Um, it just adds a nice purple, not the pulsating look it usually does unfortunately, but it's still a nice purple. Here is Midnight Smith, an amazing shader for red and black if you are looking for that. And it does add the carbon fiber texture to the wings, and pretty much almost removes the glow. Dreaming Spectrum from the Last Wish Raid, Dreaming Cast from Dreaming City Gear, and then these last few shaders are all from the Eververse Archive Bundle for 1000 Glimmer. Highly recommend if you're new to go and pick this up. So yeah, the first one I'm going to show you all is Descendant Vex Chrome. Uh, for a nice rusted look on this. Next one is Precursive X Chrome for a nice white and light gold look to it. Then we have Cirrus Modular Shine for a nice white and red. Metro Shift for a nice dark and silver. Arctic Pearl for like a really nice shiny purple. Monochromatic for a really nice black and white. And Golden Trace for a black and gold. So yeah, I covered a lot of shaders then. I'm sorry I couldn't cover some shaders which you may have wanted to see. I just tried to show off the majority of shaders I see most people use. But yeah guys, I can't thank you all enough for the amazing support. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.